in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Welcome to our Mass on this great festival of Pentecost, especially to all those who will be viewing this Mass later in the day. Once again, I am obliged to Jonathan for coming and recording our Mass this morning. And we have this time a socially distanced congregation with Father Anthony, who is going to proclaim the Gospel, and Phyllis, who will be reading for us. In a wonderful garden like this, it's very easy to be socially distanced and uh, also to be in God's glorious creation. So, dear friends, at our baptism, we pledged ourselves to be faithful servants of Jesus Christ, to come together as he has commanded us to celebrate his love in the Eucharist, to follow him to the cross, to share in his suffering, and find that he has broken down the barriers of death by rising from the tomb. He has opened the gates of glory so that we might enter in the fullness of life in heaven. For this we wait in hope with his church on earth. And today we celebrate the gift of God's Holy Spirit upon the Apostles. We pray that the Spirit will renew the life of the church and will rekindle our own faith. Jesus promised the Apostles that they would be empowered by the Holy Spirit and then preach the Gospel. So we come before God, conscious of his presence, and conscious of our need for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord, grant us the grace to acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, we have rebelled against you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, take from us the burden of guilt. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Grant you time for amendment of life and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Almighty God, who you sent your Holy Spirit on your disciples in the burning fire of your love, grant that your people may be united in loving you, that always abiding in Christ they may be found steadfast in faith, and active in service through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the same Spirit one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, the Apostles were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, 
from every nation under heaven. And at the sound, the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in their own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, Are not all who are speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty word, works of God. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The response to the psalm, Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord God, how excellent, is, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and splendor. You have clothed yourself with light as with a garment. Send, Send forth, forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew the, the face of the earth. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, creatures both small and great. Send, Send forth, forth your, your spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew the, the face of the earth. All of them look for you to give them their food in due season. You give it to them and they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good things. Send, Send forth, forth your, your spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew the face of the earth. earth. Hide your face and they are dismayed. You take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they spring to life, and so you renew the face of the earth. Send and forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew the, the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. No one, speaking by the Spirit of God, ever says, Jesus be cursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of working, but it is the same God who inspires them all in every one. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one Spirit. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. By tradition on this feast of Pentecost there is sung the golden sequence, words tributed to Archbishop Stephen Langton. Come, O Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shine a ray of light divine. Come, O Father of the poor, come with treasures which endure, come with and shine. You of comfort us the best, 
you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. You, O light, most <coughs> pure and blessed, shine within the inmost breast of your faithful company. Where you are not, we have not every hole in deed and thought comes from your divinity. Heal our wounds, our strength renew on our dryness for your due, wash the stains of guilt away, then the stubborn heart and will melt the frozen warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore in your sevenfold gifts descend. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Pray, Father, a blessing. May the Lord be on your lips and in your heart that you may worthily confess Christ's holy gospel in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Just a thought for today and some words that I was reading this morning in my
spiritual reading as part of the morning office and some words of St John Henry Newman. On this day we are celebrating the coming of the Spirit upon the Apostles and rejoicing in the work of the Spirit through the centuries and how each and every Christian can live out the Gospel in his or her life. Sometimes we are very conscious of the things that we feel called by God to do and at other times we wonder whether we have done anything worth God at all. But these words of uh, Newman may help us all to realise how God does work within each of our lives. He wrote, God has created me to do some definite service. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I may never know what it is in this life, but I shall be told it in the next. Somehow I am necessary for his purposes, as necessary in my place as an archangel in his. If indeed I fail, he can raise another as he could make the stones children of Abraham. And yet I have a part in this great work. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. God has not created me for naught. I shall do good. I shall do his work. I shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth in my own place while not intending it if I do but keep his commandments and serve him in my calling. And so we pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, we thank you on this wonderful feast for the working of your Holy Spirit in your church. So we ask that you will continue to guide your church today and always lead us forward in faith to build up your kingdom on earth. Bless, we pray, all those whom you have called to lead your church, and all the faithful in giving witness to Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that we cannot contain you, so send your Holy Spirit to breathe the life of heaven into our world of politics and commerce. May all our worldly leaders have a deepening sense of their responsibility to all people. Encourage all those who work for peace and harmony between the different nations of our world. And strengthen, Lord, those who are persecuted or marginalised because of their race. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously <coughs> hear us. Gracious God, may your Holy Spirit bring healing to families and communities where there are divisions and tensions. As you brought so many different people together at Pentecost, may we all hear your call to strive for reconciliation. Be close to all at this time with those who suffer from domestic abuse. Guide them to havens of safety that they may find support and help. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Father God, pour out your healing on all who are sick, those suffering with COVID-19 and all life-threatening illnesses. Give guidance to all involved in medical research and bless all those involved in the care of the sick. We hold in the silence of our hearts those we know to be in need of your love and mercy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously <coughs> hear us. Eternal God, we rejoice that you have given us the hope of heaven through the death and resurrection of Jesus our Lord. In confidence, 
we commend to you all those who have died and who have placed their trust in you. Receive into paradise Aileen Choate and all who have recently departed this life. Grant them eternal rest and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Glorious God, we thank you for all those you have inspired through the centuries and who now worship you in the courts of heaven. As we continue our earthly pilgrimage, so we ask Our Lady Mary and all the saints to pray with us and for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Greet one another with a kiss of peace, and may grace be with all who are in Christ. May the peace of the Lord be with you and all God's people. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> By the mystery of this water and this wine, we share the divinity of Christ humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Almighty God, as we place these gifts upon your altar, granted by the action of the Holy Spirit, they may be sanctified and become channels of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our joy and delight to give you thanks, Almighty God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For on the day of Pentecost, you sent your Holy Spirit to empower the apostles to continue the work your Son began. By the grace of the same Spirit, you enable us to witness to our faith proclaiming your love and mercy to all peoples of every nation. And so with angels and archangels, we proclaim in the power of the Spirit, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of power, power and might, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. 
hear us, merciful Father, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this bread and wine may become the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who on the night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. heart of our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, in calling to mind the precious death and passion, the glorious resurrection and ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this sacrifice of salvation. Grant that by his offering of himself at Calvary, and with faith in his risen presence, we and all your people may receive forgiveness of our sins and all the benefits of his redeeming work. Although we are unworthy, we ask you to accept this offering of your Church on earth, and for your Holy Spirit, to bring forth the fruit of this sacrament. Grant your grace to all who share in this sacred meal, so that one day we may feast at your table in heaven with the blessed Mary, the apostles, martyrs, and all the saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. has taught us to call God Abba, Father. So in love and confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
<clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body. God our Father, you have given us the spirit of your Son to dwell in our hearts. Send us out from this altar, renewed by the gifts of grace and in the power of the same Holy Spirit. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 